Hello and welcome guys to a deception. In this video, we are going to discuss the question paper pattern of the physics examination you will face in your ICSC 2020 boards. We will also discuss how you can prepare for the physics examination. Do watch this video till the end and if you like it, do hit the thumbs up button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified of all our videos. Without further ado, let's begin. Let's begin with the question paper pattern. ICSC Physics. Now this is an 80 marks question paper and you will get 2 hours to solve the whole thing. You will also get additional 15 minutes to read the question paper. The question paper is divided in 2 sections. Section 140 marks and section 240 marks. Let's begin with section 1. Section 1, 40 marks. This is a compulsory section and you will have to attempt all questions over here. You will get 4 questions. Question 1, question 2, question 3 and question 4. Each question will be of 10 marks. So 4 into 10 that will give you 40 marks. Now over here in section 1 there is no chapter combination. Questions are asked from all the chapters jumbled up. Moving on to section 2. Section 2, 40 marks. You will have to attempt any 4 questions over here. You will get 6 questions in this section. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Out of the 6 questions, you will have to attempt any 4. Each question is of 10 marks. So 4 into 10, that will give you 40 marks. Now there is a chapter combination in section 2. Let's discuss that. Question 5 is from force, work energy and power and machines. Question 6 is from light and by light I mean all the 3 chapters of light, refraction of light, lens and spectrum. Question 7 is from sound. Question 8 is from electricity and by electricity I mean both the chapters of electricity, current electricity and household circuits. Question 9 is from calorimetry and question 10 is from radioactivity and electromagnetism. So that is the chapter combination of section 2. So you get 6 questions. Out of the 6 questions you will have to attempt any 4. Now what type of questions are asked? Let's begin with section 1. In section 1 the questions will be of 2 marks or 1 mark. The questions will be short questions. What type of questions? Short answer type questions, simple definitions, SI units, one word answers, CGS units, short numericals and small diagrams and a little bit concept based questions are asked in section 1. So these are the type of questions that you will face in section 1. In section 2, each question will be of 3 to 4 marks and over here the questions are long answer type questions, long diagrams, long numericals with many calculations and many concept based questions. So these type of questions are asked in section 2. So you know that what you will face in section 1 and what you will face in section 2. Now that we have discussed the question paper pattern and what type of questions are asked, let's move on to how you can prepare for this particular subject. How to prepare for physics? Now the best way to prepare for physics is by reading everything. For a single chapter, start reading from the very beginning of the chapter and read till the very end of the chapter. Read it thoroughly and try to understand each and everything that is explained in your textbook because each and everything is important in physics. Read it once thoroughly. If you still face problems, read it again. If you still face problems, read it again thrice. I believe after a certain amount of time, your concept will get clear. And once your concept is clear and you understand everything properly, the physics examination will be a cakewalk for you. Because if you have a clear concept and good understanding, you can easily answer all the questions in physics. Now why I tell you the concept building is important in physics? You must have checked out the ICSC 2019 physics question paper. If you have not, the link to that video will be in your top right corner. Do watch that and you will see that in the ICSC 2019 physics question paper, a lot of questions were 
concept based questions and if you have a clear concept you could easily answer those questions and it has become a trend now that majority of the questions asked in the physics examination are concept based questions so if you have a good concept and a good understanding you can easily score good marks in your physics examination in addition to that if you want to take science in higher classes that means class 11 12 and even higher studies having a good understanding of physics is very important if you have a good and clear cut concept over here you will have no problems in studying physics in higher classes so build a very good concept read everything thoroughly and try to understand each and everything that is explained okay moving on to the next thing the next thing is numericals now all the numericals are very important in physics now if you follow the concise book there are many good numericals in the examples and the question and answer section solve all the numericals from the examples as well as the question and answer section if you solve all the numericals properly you won't face any problems in solving the numericals in your examination so try to solve all the numericals the examples and the exercises from your book and do it properly moving on to the next thing which is diagrams now diagrams are also very important in physics now diagrams will be present all throughout your question paper so study all the diagrams that you have in your syllabus properly especially all the important diagrams in the chapter lens study all the diagrams because one question from there will definitely be asked okay moving on the next few things are definitions you have to mug up all the definitions that you have in your syllabus the SI units and the CGS units you have to learn all the SI units as well as the CGS units okay other than that you have to study almost everything because if you study everything then only you will understand the physics of that thing now we have already solved the ICSE 2019 ICSE 2018 and ICSE 2017 physics question paper the link to those videos will be in the description box below do check them out you will understand what type of questions are asked after ending everything i will suggest a book the book is arihant icsc physics chapter wise year wise solved the link to that book will be in the description box below do check that book out that will be very helpful now that we are done with everything i'll end this video over here new videos on deception are coming very soon so stay tuned as always, this is Rishi on behalf of Deception signing off.